All right, so I wanted to make a video uh, just kind of going over and showing and talking through my favorite images, my favorite photos that I took in 2020. Now, despite everything that's been going on in the world uh, this year, it's been crazy. I actually took some of my favorite images, uh, you know, from the past several years have come from 2020. And I wanted to make a video kind of going over and showing my favorites. Now, honestly, this is probably going to be the last video that I post uh, for probably quite a while. I really just haven't had a lot of opportunities and chances to really do any photography lately, other than maybe just a quick snap here or there of my son and the occasional real estate shoot. But other than that, I, I don't really have my eye on anything to test out, any sort of lens. There's nothing that really piques my interest at the moment. And the same for camera bodies. There's not really anything new that I want to really go out and test out. And even if I did, I do, there's just really not a lot of opportunities to shoot. And I don't really want to just force anything. So honestly, lately, photography has been is not really something I've had a lot of time or opportunity to do. So moving forward, videos related to photography or camera gear may be few and far between. I may post you know, a watch video every now and then. But enough rambling, let's go ahead and look at my favorite images from 2020. So the first one here is a special image to me because this was, I was testing out the X100V uh, from Fuji. It was on loan for a few weeks. And at the same time, my wife's YouTube channel hit 100,000 subscribers. She uh, very shortly got her plaque in the mail and you know, I wanted a good uh, a photo to kind of commemorate, you know, her hitting 100,000 subscribers because, you know, more and more people are doing it all the time on YouTube, but still it is a pretty uh, notable milestone to achieve. It was just a pretty surreal experience for it to happen to her. I mean, at this point she has well over 200,000, but uh, earlier in the year, I think this was around February or March, she hit 100,000. So her channel has been growing pretty rapidly, but this is a, a photo that years from now we'll look back and just kind of say, hey, there was the, that one time we hit 100,000. I say we because I help her a lot with her YouTube channel, and uh, I don't know. It's just a it's just a cool photo, and, and I really like the lighting. I just placed her up against our bedroom wall and had the window light coming in from the side, uh, so very simple lighting, but very, you know, kind of moody, kind of dark, but just I, I really like the vibe overall. Ah, so this next image, I really was kind of a spur of the moment thing. I was out shooting, getting some landscape shots for the GFX 50R review. I took this with the loaner unit that Fujifilm sent me for a few weeks with the 32 to 64. And really, this was kind of towards the end of the morning when I had thought I got all my shots. As I was heading back down this road, I saw this scene and got out of my, my vehicle and just kind of stood right in the middle of the road, handheld. And, and took this. And this has been one of my favorite landscapes that I've ever taken. Uh, I really like it. I, I There's something about the, the light coming in. And uh, it was early spring, so things were just not quite in bloom. But there's a couple leaves on the trees, you know, starting to bud. And some greenery on the ground. But overall, I, I think this is a really cool shot. There's actually even some, like, mist and fog in the background. It was just a really beautiful morning. And I think this kind of summed up my whole uh, morning that I spent shooting. I had, it was just a fantastic morning. Uh, something I should really try to do more often. But I went out, got some really cool photos that morning, and had just an absolute blast doing it. It was such a, <laughs> it was such a great time. And uh, I really feel like this photo just kind of summed up and put a cap on what was a fantastic morning shooting uh, with a fantastic camera. So this is a photo uh, from that same morning that I was talking about. Uh, this was earlier as the sun was rising. And this is what I was talking about. I was out. It was kind of uh, chilly, but it felt really good and refreshing to be out. And I was trying to get some shots with the GFX 50R for the review. And I happened to take this uh, just a couple miles from my house. And I really liked the way it turned out. This was with the 32-64 to uh, on a tripod. And I had just enough of a shutter lag to get some movement and some smoothness in the waves uh, of those little rapids there. 
but it wasn't so much that it was just, you know, smooth as silk, but it still kind of gives a cool effect, shows the motion, and then the rocks are nice and tack sharp, and just the color, that was really, I actually had to scale back the color from the raw file because it was so much. The, the color was just, the sky and the landscape around me had exploded with this pink and purple uh, orange hue, and uh, it was just a really cool explosion of color around me, and with the mist and the fog, uh, I just I just really enjoyed this environment. The composition probably isn't the best, technically, but, uh, you know, composition, eh, it's okay, but I really do like uh, just the texture in the rocks and the motion conveyed in the river and uh, just the colors and, and, and the atmosphere of the image. Uh, so not super strong compositionally, but I, I still really think it's one of my cooler landscapes, especially ones that I took this year. And this brings me to the next one, which is a cat photo. <laughs> this is uh, this is our cat. Uh, he's an indoor-outdoor cat, uh, which works out great for us. And this was just on our property in, in our woods. And this is with the GFX 50R and the 50mm 3.5, which is a fantastic combination. I had been traipsing around the woods following him, trying to get a good or a decent shot of him for probably half an hour at this point. Uh, I was cold, wet, wasn't really prepared. It was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. I grabbed my camera and kind of ran out to the woods. And I was just... I felt like a fool <laughs> out there. And then I finally was able to get, this was a split second shot. He didn't hold this pose for long, maybe uh, two seconds. And I had that amount of time to snap this. And luckily the GFX 50R came through <laughs> for me and, and, and hit focus well enough. And uh, I, I really like the composition. I kind of like how he's perched up on this log. Uh, the depth of field is really nice, and my favorite cat photo <laughs> that I've taken that naturally brings me to this photo, which was uh, uh, that same morning. So after I got that shot of my cat, I it was such a gorgeous morning in the woods, and there was a lot of fog and mist, and uh, I just happened to find a composition that I kind of liked. You know, it's being in the woods, uh, especially these types of woods and forests that is real grown up, uh, it's hard to really find any composition. There's just so much everywhere around you. It's kind of like information overload, and it's hard to really kind of carve out a composition. Uh, so this was kind of my best attempt at doing that and trying to show just how peaceful and relaxing and just gorgeous of a morning this was. This was in the middle of uh, basically March, I think was when this was taken, April. So when everything in the world was really just <laughs> uh, just going downhill and it was just um, a good representation of another morning of, of me going out and, and spending some time in nature and getting some shots while I was at it. So uh, I, I really like this photo. This was the GFX 50R as well, and the 50. Ah, here we go. I am not big on product photography. I mean, I have a macro lens, <laughs> and that's about as far as product photography goes. But I was doing uh, a review for the X-Pro3 and the 35 1.4 from Fuji, and I had the X-Pro3 on loan, and I was trying to get some shots of it for the review. So I went out with my X-T1 and 60mm 2.4 and was getting some shots of it, and I happened to set this up, and the lighting that was falling on it was just super soft, and when I took this, I got it back on the computer and really fell in love with the image, uh, especially with the, the edits that I put on. I used a classic NEG film simulation, uh, a preset that I use in Lightroom, and did a little bit of retouching on it, you know, to take some dust off and whatnot, but uh, I, I really like this image. I think it's a really cool shot of the X-Pro3 in this environment, and typically when you think of this camera, you would think of like maybe a street environment, but I live way out in the country, so <laughs> most things uh, get photographed out in nature, so it's just a little bit different. It's almost juxtaposed compared to how most people think of an X-Pro3, the environment that it would be in. Uh, it was more like urban and street. I just really like the environment. I think the color, the lighting, the softness, and uh, the detail of it, everything works to me is, is pretty cool. And uh, one of the, my most favorite product type shots that I've ever taken, for sure, and that 60 mil lens on, oh, just so good. It's so sharp. I just love it so much. But um, yeah, so 
really dig this this photo. All right, so this was a photo of my wife's grandmother, and I took this with the Fuji 16 2.8. This is when I had it for review for a few weeks, and this was the very first day I went out to even test it. And if you've seen that review, you know that I raved about it and fell in love the very first day I went out to shoot with it, and it was this day. Uh, so this is one of the first shots I snapped, and I just fell in love with the perspective, and I fell in love with the smallness on the X-T1, which is what this was shot with, the X-T1. It was this and another photo I took this day that really just made me instantly fall in love with the 16 2.8. And uh, yeah, I just, I like the composition. She was out raking, I believe, or doing something with that shovel. You know, I wanted a, a shot of her to test it out and she agreed to pose and I really like the pose. I like, I like her holding onto that rake and her elbows up there, and this was in her backyard, and uh, yeah, I, I, I really dig it. I like the depth of field. I was shooting wide open, and everything about this, I just, I really like. I think uh, it's going to be a photo that we look back on, you know, for years to come, and uh, look fondly on, and this is another photo I took that same day with the X-T1 in the 16 2.8, and man, I, uh, I really lucked out with this with this grab because he was swinging back and forth and moving kind of sporadically on this you know little suspended uh, round swing as well as trying to eat that uh, ice cream cone at the same time. So uh, I happened to get this shot right as he swung into my field of view and the XT1 with the with that 16 2.8 focused you know fast enough to where I was able to grab this and I just really love the. A, the field of view that the 16 gave me, the composition, the way his body is leaning forwards and he's holding on to the back rope and the way his legs are while leaning, sticking out that ice cream cone to show me that he ha that he has an ice cream cone. And then the, the joy and the look on his face. I just, I love a lot about this image and it was definitely one of my favorites of the year and it's it's th these types of images that you want to create as a parent and uh, I, I'm really glad I, I got this. Since we're talking about the 16 millimeter, uh, I also tested out the 16 1.4 which everyone raves about. Fantastic lens. Um, yeah, it, it, it's well deserved as far as the the praise it gets. So I was doing some family portraits, and then I was getting shots of their kids in the backyard just kind of playing. They were they were moving away from their, their house of 15 years, the only house their daughters had known, and they wanted me to come over and just get photos of them and their environment in the house and in the backyard playing, and this was one of their daughters. So she was swinging for me, and I was, you know, just taking shots of her as she was swinging back and forth. And I happened to capture this one, and I just love the way, the smile on her face, first of all, and then the look she's giving me with, you know, that, that direct eye contact, as well as the hair falling in front of her face. I just really like uh, the way her, you know, her hands are on the chains and the way her ha hair is falling, uh, showing that motion, showing her, you know, having fun. I really dig it. I really dig this image. It was a little, ended up being a little bit too hot on her forehead and I reined it back. So they're not blown out, but it's still kind of, <laughs> kind of a little too hot there. But you know, that aside, I can forgive it. I, I look past things like that every now and then. Uh, but still really love this image. Yeah. I just really like the, the look and the, and the moment I was able to capture there. So early on in the summer, we went to the beach and I took the GFX 50R with me and the two 16 millimeter lenses I was testing out at the time. I can't remember if this was, I think this was in the evening. Yeah, this was in the evening. Looking down the beach, I just really love the mood and the the color of, of this shot. Yeah, it's just a little more, I don't know if I want to say the term artsy, I guess. I, I don't know, but it's it's a cool shot. I really like it. It's very minimal, very subdued, but uh, I really like the mood and I like the, the color palette. Yeah, I just, I really dig this shot. This was with the X-T1, I believe, or maybe X-T. No, this was the X-T2. This was with the X-T2. Yeah, just another cool beach shot that made my favorites of the year. I had a fun time at the beach. <laughs> I got a lot of beach shots. Now this is of my son and that is my dad pulling him on that little boogie board there. And he was absolutely having a blast. He, 
<laughs> he thought it was the coolest thing when he started pulling him around on that on that boogie board. And I think this shot does a good job of conveying that, of telling that story. Me me saying that he was having fun is kind of silly because, it, of course, you can tell by the joy on his face. And you can tell my dad is having such a great time <laughs> pulling him on it. So I was really happy to capture this shot. This is with the X-T1 and the 16 2.8. Yeah, definitely one of the ones I think about of the year when I think about my favorite shots of the year. This is at the top of the list. I really like it. Glad I was able to get this uh, moment in time to have to look back and to kind of remember. And another shot of my son at the beach, uh, just a kind of a portrait of him. He, <laughs> This is right before we were about to go back and eat some lunch, and he was just looking so cool with those sunglasses on, his hair all disheveled and wet. I don't know. He was looking like a stud. <laughs> I just love the look on his face. His his lips parted just a little bit. He kind of kind of kind of seems like he knows it. He knows that he's cool. <laughs> but uh, uh, just a really cool portrait. I ended up liking a lot. Uh, this is with the XT1 and 16 2.8 again. There's a reason why I bought that lens. One of my favorite photos of my parents, especially that I've taken, and funny enough, you can't even see my dad's face in it, but I was taking some shots of, of my parents on the beach, and this was with the uh, 50R and 50mm 3.5. Uh, they were just having fun. They were walking along the beach, and he was trying to you know, get her wet by splashing some water on her, and just kind of, they were having fun. And I snapped this shot of him embracing her and kind of you know, just playing around, and she obviously was laughing and having a fun time, so I just love this shot of my my mom and dad. Uh, it's a special shot to me because, you know, I love my parents, and I was glad that I could capture a shot that conveyed the joy of their marriage and, you know, their, their happiness together, and I, I really like that. Technically, uh, the depth of field, I think, is very nice here. This was wide open. It, it really looks cool. You can tell that they're at the beach. There's a cool environment, but it's also, you know, it, it separates them a little bit. And then just the whole color palette of the image, I, I really like. It was a nice evening, just really soft colors. And um, yeah, I, I really like the shot. Now, I'm going to talk about th these three images kind of as um, kind of as one image or just a collection to tell a story. This was the last, our last night at the beach and my wife, we were taking family photos on the beach and my wife wanted to go down to the ocean with my son just to kind of sit there and maybe uh, get their feet wet and stand in the, you know, in the water. But she wasn't planning on actually going into the ocean with him. But of course, you know, a three-year-old wants to adventure further, <laughs> doesn't want to just sit at the edge. Lo and behold, she ends up in the ocean with her, her big flowing skirt on. <laughs> I captured a few shots of them just really having an intimate moment together. They were both very just, just taking it all in. He was as active as my son is. He was just kind of very, uh, I don't know, contemplative, just very enamored by the ocean and the waves instead of just going at a million miles an hour like he had been the whole week. And it was just a nice moment of my wife and my son sharing this I don't know, intimate moment together, staring out into the ocean, just kind of, you know, in awe of the ocean and just taking it all in. And, and I really love these photos that kind of convey, you know, what was going on in this situation. And then, of course, this one here where he's just really snuggled into her. I don't know, I guess he was in a mood, <laughs> some sort of mood, uh, just very somber. But um, I love these images and I'm glad I got to capture them. And they're going to be images that I'll look back on for years to come and, and, and really appreciate and really enjoy, and especially my son and my wife. Also, these were taken with the GFX 50R and the 53.5. And the last one I want to talk about is one I took just recently, a couple weeks ago, and that is my wife and my son. They built a fort in the living room with sheets and chairs, and we're having a good old time watching cartoons on the laptop. So I decided to get this shot. X-T1 and Rokinon 12mm, I believe. But yeah, I really like the, the light coming in through the sheets and that blue cast over everything. 
And it was just a really cool, you know, it was a fun afternoon of making a, a fort with your with your child and them kind of snuggled up watching cartoons. I love the look on his face. He's just really enamored by whatever he's watching. And, uh, you know, it's just a nice moment, a nice moment between my wife and my son. And I just really dig it. I, I really like this photo. It means a lot to me. So there you have it. There are my favorite images of 2020. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. And I hope you guys have a very good 2021.